Every tour guide has got his own hobbies and different places he loves to take tourists to. Some would go for the old Zionistic first sites which are belonging from the first immigration wave from Europe. Others would go for the biblical sites. For myself, of course, it's biblical Jerusalem. I, I always prefer the biblical city of David upon anything else. Others would go for educational things and, and you know, immigration uh, centers that are showing the society within Israel. I know tour guides who love to do agricultural tourism. You should remember we have 12,000 tour guides. Among them, 8,000 are operative. They carry license which is renewed on, a, on an annual basis. So the number of tour guides that can offer these kind of things is huge. All you got to do is search on the websites and you'll see huge amounts of different ideas that one can enjoy different tour guides who are specializing in different fields. Every tour guide has got his own perfect sites, which he shares with. Sometimes it's a small restaurant or a unique beach. Sometimes it would be a winery or a jewelry center, anything. We should remember not only the Jewish culture that lives among us for 3,000 years and generations, we have a new Israeli spirit, which is only 66 years old. And the amazing thing is, it is some kind of an eclectic mixture of all cultures from around the world. Because we have Jews coming from Alaska, up north, all the way down south to the southern pole in Australia. We have Jews gathering after Second World War in Israel, and they bring their own cultures. So the unique melting, I would say, and crystallizing point within Israel has created something which is brand new. And the culture creates from, from Mediterranean local music to operas and to excellent classical music. We have great museums. If I may remind this, Israel is the number one country in the world with the number of museums per capita. That means the largest amounts of museum exists in Israel, which is culture, of course, huge amounts of culture. It goes the same for the music and it goes for the jewelry and the art and the architecture. There are nine different World Heritage Sites within the small, tiny land of Israel, which means there's great international interest in those cultural sites. So, as you say, Israel can be a great destination just for culture seekers who are looking for different cultures within very short distances of driving. You need to drive half an hour from one sect to another, and there's a whole new people, a whole new uh, cult, a whole new culture sometimes, which is one village next to the other.